How's it going everyone, Hero Gaming, and today I'm going to be discussing update 39 and every single thing you need to know about this update, so let's get right into it. So the first thing we want to look at for this update are two new things for the heroes. So one is going to be a map for Oben, and for Etienne it's a map and it's a new skin. So let's get that new skin real quick and let's move on. And then we also want to discuss the map editor. So finally there is going to be a map editor. This is going to open a lot of potential for new fun, new and fun ways to play Bloons TD6. The Squidward one is hilarious. These guys are quick. And yeah, so we have that going for us. So that's going to be really fun. And then we want to discuss the dark path. So this is going to be a new advanced map. Yep, looks like it's a kind of map that'll give us a lot of pain. It does look very similar to the park path because I think it actually is kind of the same map. Just, you know, now instead of driving straight. So yeah, so instead of the balloons going this way, they're coming through this river. So it's basically the same map. A lot more difficult but yep so that's the map i'm gonna have the tutorials out hopefully as soon as possible but other than that there have been a lot of changes in this up now something i did forget to mention is that the map editor actually costs money i paid for it already it is six thousand in-game currency so that's something you might want to save up for but otherwise we're good to go and then I want to discuss the new monkey knowledge. So there is this unit of monkey knowledge where paragons attack faster if there's no tier 5 of that same tower. Again, there's a lot of use for this one. I'm not sure how useful it would change things because you kind of already have a paragon. So how much faster exactly it doesn't say, but it does say they attack faster. And I'm hoping it's something that's noticeable. Now, very quickly, let's discuss the new trophy store, trophy store items. Yeah, there we go. So anyways, there are some new items you're going to enjoy. A few of them are going to be the emotes. So these new are going to be nice. There's going to be new music. And then so the winners of the community competitions, I believe, are these. But otherwise, there isn't anything that would grab your attention too much. So there are a few updates that are a little bit vague, but basically what Ninja Kiwi says on these updates is that the boss timer has now been changed to be more mathematical. Not sure what that means. So they're saying that the boss event default penalty time changed from 10 seconds to... 10 plus a round number times 0 0.25 so if the round's 40 0 0.25 plus 10 so it'd be 10 plus 10 so it looks like the boss challenges might be a little bit more punishing and then there are some balances that for example now the beast handler is up is available in uh, contested territories phase and dread balloon are also now available in contested territories and then they do speak quite a bit about the map editor, so that's going to be a fun one to play on. So when it comes to the map editor, as soon as you jump in, you get with this screen. So you have to beat the challenge so that you can post it. So at least now we know that the creator of the map has to actually have beaten it. And then when editing the map, you'll need at least one path from the entry to the exit. However, you can create more. So good for us. And again, you can place down props. So you're going to be doing quite a bit. I think this has a lot of potential. There is a side panel to change the terrain. Now, I'm not sure how much that actually impacts the difficulty of the map. And then after maps are ready, they'll become available on the count content browser. So, yep, they want you to kind of just have fun and do your thing with this. I'm going to try to create a very, very difficult challenge for you guys and see if anyone can beat it and maybe offer a reward for those that do but other than that this kind of is pretty straightforward i would recommend just playing around with it it does look like it's going to be a lot of fun especially anyone who overuses the <laughs> props but yep yeah, other than that we're back to home so i don't want to bore you with those details but they did resolve a few issues that were happening in the game i wasn't aware these issues were happening but like glitches not letting you use your hero's ability things of that sort so that's something to look forward to and now let's get into the changes they had for their monkeys so this one's going to be a fun one so for those that love the dart monkey paragon they resolved an issue where getting two of these bad boys was actually giving you more points towards your paragon than you should so you know that's fun so an interesting one is actually now the fact that they made the favorite trades upgrade on the big buccaneer no longer able to buff paragon upgrades so apparently in the past it was doing that now it won't at all and then they also changed monkey ace so the 4040 path to no longer ignore the camo of the phase when it is under the towers camo detection so if you have a monkey village that's giving this camo detection it will still not go through that basically they made this a little bit weaker against the phase balloon but let's go keep going now the balance changes are a little aggressive on this upgrade so i'm gonna have to kind of read them one by one but starting with the ice monkey so they made it stronger so the base pierce is now 30 from 40 so 40 sorry but it was originally at 30 so 
the base 000 ice monkey has actually gotten stronger that's good maybe might make a good video of that however they did weaken the deep freeze so the deep freeze uh extra cross path fruit pierce has been lowered from 10 down to 5 so maybe focusing it on the beginning okay so they made this a little bit more useless actually half the strength and then they made the snowstorm upgrade they actually increased its price from 3000 to 3800 so this is being on easy, right? You're not going to see the prices here, but they actually raised the price for hard. But they did decrease the price of Absolute Zero a little bit from 20k to 19.2k. And again, that's for hard. But boy, that range is amazing. On to the next guy. So we have the Glue Gunner. So they've actually slowed down the balloon dissolver rate. So that's going to cause... It was already a really bad tower. I don't know why you would do that. And, but they did buff the 040 path. So the Glue Strike ability can now hit Moabs. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Now, even though it can now glue Moabs, so as you can see there, they did make it a little bit weaker. So the layers on the 040 upgrade, so that would be this, have been lowered from 6 to 3, so halved the amount of impact it can actually have. And then for the next one, the glue storm ability was actually dropped from 9 to 3. So it's going to stay at 3 regardless of what you do, which is pretty trash. However, a 140 will now glue infinite layers why would they do that that's an that's an interesting one okay so at least you know if you go the one the 140 path you'll get infinite layer coverage so that's always good oh but they did have the cooldown of the 050 so this ability right here the glue storm ability now it is at half the time so double the speed i'm assuming that's a lot of value and we're gonna keep going from there now on to the monkey sub the only real changes happened to the preemptive strike ability well not ability uh sorry upgrade so a the price was dropped from 32.32k to 29k so three thousand dollar drop that's going to be beneficial for sure but they did increase the missile bonus to ceramic from 15 to 20 so now it'll do more damage to ceramics which is kind of what we needed all along it was pretty useless but i'm assuming they're actually doing this because the monkey sub paragon is coming up in the next upgrade so that's going to be an interesting impact we're going to see on to the ever so loved heli pilot so apparently the projectiles the 040 chinook will sh sorry 040 heli pilot will shoot are now increased in size so they were a size three now they're a size six so doubled in size also, they're talking about the damage of this balloon was increased from 1 to 2. So again, they doubled the damage. But the most important thing is they actually were dropped the price of the Comanche Commander. So for medium, they dropped it from 35k to 32k. So that's going to be really nice to have. But otherwise, it's not a lot that's going to impact the gameplay of the Heli Pilot, I think. So we're good to go on that front. Now here's an insane one for you, the Mortar Monkey. So the Mortar Monkey did go a lot of, uh, did go through a lot of balance changes. So let's start reading those out. Um, the 000 Mortar Monkey. So this one, the starting Mortar Monkey's damage has been doubled. So it went from one to two. Also, the Monkey's Pierce has been reduced from 40 to 25. So it'll do less Pierce, but it'll do more damage. So all in all, I think that's a net positive in my personal opinion. And then for Bigger Blast, the first upgrade for the Mortar Monkey, they actually increased the Blast Pierce from 20 back to 45. So basically, if you get the Bigger Blast upgrade, you're now back at the standard 000 with double the power. And then for Bloom Buster, the damage went from 2 to 3, so that's going to be a plus 1 damage upgrade, basically. And then when it comes to the big one, they kept the damage at seven i don't know why they have to mention that if <laughs> the damage remains at seven then it remains at seven right they just wrote it in the notes and then a few upgrades to the zero five zero pop and all path for the mortar monkey so they did increase the explosion radius from 20 to 23 so a slight change but i do think it'll actually have just what it needs to make this another good upgrade to have in your tutorials not tutorials my tutorials sorry in, in your playthroughs however they did drop the bonus ceramic damage from 12 down to three so that is okay so it's no longer as effective on ceramics that's gonna be an interesting path to take why would they do that but again they did it they don't care <laughs> and they did drop the cooldown delay so the cooldown delay was apparently set at 0 0.27 now it's at 0 0.0675 so okay they did drop the 050 so this tower is uh, lead damage from four to one so they actually made this tower a lot weaker with a slightly bigger radius they reduced the damage on fortifieds from four to one so also a big drop and they reduced the damage on moabs from four to one so you know, this is the added damage it usually had on these balloons yeah very i'm not i'm not i'm not confident in this one 
Now into the Dartling Gunner, Dartling Gunner only had price changes. So for medium, the price of the Hydra Rocket, so this third upgrade, went from 5100 to 4800 so it went a little cheaper. However, they did add that price onto the Rocket Storm, which actually got a little more expensive, went from 5250 to 5550 So one up 300 and they dropped the other one 300 so yeah it was literally just the price was added onto the next upgrade which is it, yeah that makes sense it's a balance right and then onto another monkey that actually had a lot of changes the wizard monkey so one of my favorite actually upgrades with this is they have decreased the price of wall of fire finally i swear this uh we needed this a really long time ago but finally the price has dropped the initial price was 950 now it is down to 800 so 150 change will actually change a lot finally more of my old tutorials will work again and then they now have the the one to zero upgrade will now increase the wall of fire's duration from five seconds as opposed to increasing it to 5.5 seconds it'll now set it at 6.5 seconds so that's always a good thing but they did do something that i consider very stupid they made the summon phoenix even more expensive so i don't know if you remember two updates ago they actually made it more expensive and now they're just it's still too cheap guys yeah, so let's make it more expensive the price for this one went from 6,000 to 7,500 so anyone who has this in their strategy especially if it was half cash no longer viable so now if you get guided magic and the summon phoenix upgrade it will have light seeking so i'm assuming better targeting i don't really understand what they mean by that but that's all they said oh but good for them they decreased the price of the wizard lord phoenix wow so thankful thank you ninja kiwi wouldn't be here without you so they did drop the price from 552.5k down to 50k how generous but they did make it a bit weaker so the radial what sorry where is it radial attack pierce has been reduced from 500 to 300 that is actually a pretty big drop so with a drop in pierce like that i'm not sure it's going to be viable at all actually i think that's what they're trying to do here is they're trying to push the importance of having the wizard monkey paragon and to completely continue massacring my beautiful boy, they have actually decreased the Shimmer. So the Shimmer's tower was originally set at 80, it is now set at 60. That is a very big drop, 25% is going to cause an issue, I think for sure, for many people and many strategies. So, yep, keep making the Wizard Monkey less viable, guys. But then they also talk about the ra the shimmer radius going up 25%. So whatever the range of the tower is, it's just a quarter more than that. So if it's at 60, that goes to 75. Okay, that makes sense. So it's now better to upgrade the wizard monkey, but I don't know. They made it a little weaker. Not, not, not the biggest fan of this one. But a little nice one for us is they actually increased the range of the Prince of Darkness. So the Prince of Darkness was originally set at the tower's range of 60. It is now set at 80. So it is a noticeable difference in range, but again... It's is it enough to make it any better on to the our beautiful super monkey so the only change with the super monkey was with the sun temple so apparently these guys will no longer ignore the line of sight so the little guys if you do the full upgrade they won't ignore the line of sight but that's about it for the sun temple upgrade on to the glorious ninja monkey so they did make the ninja monkey a little bit better when it came to the flash bomb the stun now has gone up from one second to 1.3 seconds so that's always a positive positive. and then when it comes to the master bomber they dropped the attack rate from two to five okay so they made the bombs actually quite a bit slower so he becomes less viable in chimps for sure but they did triple his range so again to each their own but so they triple the range but they made him slower that's an interesting way to balance him i'm not sure it's going to be the best and i'm not sure it's actually going to work out that well but hey ninja kiwi knows best and the aoe damage has doubled so maybe that's what they're focused on so when you have rushes like this like the one i have on screen he's more powerful now but when it comes to singular moabs and things like that he's not exactly the best anymore well, he's still pretty good. And then moving on to the ever so glorious Alchemist. Now, with the Alchemist, you'll see a lot of people go to 2, and they actually dropped this effect on the potion, the acid mixture, the bonus to the acid mixture dip from 3 to 2. So, that's gonna hurt. <sighs> especially if you're focused on like dart monkeys or like a soda strategy that is going to make it a little bit harder to win on those however they did add one more thing is that transforming tonic will now increase yeah so it'll now distribute the damage to children so you know when he does this and he upgrades other towers he'll now become stronger so that's always a positive oh and same goes for the total transformation upgrade so that's that's gonna be good so whenever he transfers it to other ones you're gonna get more damage out of them because he'll distribute that damage along it as opposed to hoarding it from the last upgrade and now into the druid okay so you'll have an excuse now to actually want to heal so the heart of oak gains one percent pierce for every life gained from the starting value after the upgrade so let's say you start at 100 health every one health you go up 
it'll gain 1%, and that'll be up to 100% increase. So that's good. It's good. It gains uh, and diminishes if lives are lost. Okay, so it gets weaker if you lose health. So this makes him more applicable for chimps because you can't really lose health there you can't gain it back but you still can't lose it so at least it won't get weak so and then they also talk about how the heart of oak pierce can now apply for cross pass but it will not affect heart of thunder and they've added that jungle's bounty will now generate one health okay one life after the end of each round so jungle's bounty will actually increase the pierce but in a hundred rounds after you upgrade to it of course you'll get a hundred double the pierce that's an interesting approach however the jungle's bounty brambles pierce has now been reduced from 40 down to 30 so that's not going to do really well and then they did change bolt lightning they increased the freeze chance from 25 percent to 100 so basically now it's a f it'll always freeze what okay that's good so it'll always freeze something right okay you see that right there it's freezing so that's always a positive okay not that bad not sure how useful that was in strategies but you know new metas and then for the monkey knowledge that we have that actually increases the chance of of, well the the ball lightning freezing it'll actually now increase the lightning strikes that come out of the ball's lightning potential to freeze because the ball lightning will now always freeze so that's it's good i like that and now on to the spike factory so the 030 path moab shredder is bonus damage has been increased from four to nine more than doubled for moab so that's going to be pretty useless actually not against this many Moabs, but you get the point. And then that also applies to the Spike Storm ability. So that damage on Moabs has been increased as well. So it's gone from 4 to 9. So everything is now at 9. However, the Carpet of Spikes cooldown has been increased from 0 0.33 all the way to 0 0.49. So it does now shoot less often. But is that necessarily a bad thing? I don't think that was a struggle people were facing with the Carpet of Spikes. But they did increase its bonus damage to Moabs, so the ability and its regular shooting ability has now been increased from 5 all the way to 9. So this is actually a much better tool now for uh, taking care of Moabs. Now, we're going to be looking at the Engineer with two slight changes. The first is with the... Okay, so the Engineer Monkey, the 501 Explosion Pierce, has been increased. It's been increased from 51 to 70, so that's going to be quite the increase. You see how these things blow up? Now they do more damage as they do. And there has been a price decrease on the zero. So yeah, it's going to be the triple XL trap. And the price has dropped from 54k to 48k, which is actually a really good idea because the price didn't make sense before that. It, like to get to that level, you don't really need it anymore. So that's good. Now everyone's favorite tower, the beast handler, has also had some changes. Now these are pretty, pretty drastic. So let's, let's go through them. It's like two pages of changes. So let's jump right into it. Now the beast handler's beast reposition cool down so there's now a cooldown to change where the location is and it is set at five seconds so yeah because everyone was using it so often you know and then on to the great white so there's 300 upgrade the pierce has gone from six to ten so it's not as useless anymore and then if you merge it at the max level the pierce has gone from 18 to 20 so it was at 18 it's gone to 20 a little bit of a difference not sure it's going to make any real impact and then on to the orca so this little beautiful thing the bonus pierce from merge has increased from 24 all the way to 40 so the orca is actually now pretty powerful which is interesting because that may affect things but not as much as they may think and then on to the beast master's middle path the adasaurus they've increased the attack delay so now it has lower attack speed of course it needed to be weaker it was too strong as is so the attack delay has gone up from 0.9 seconds to one second so i'm not sure how big of a difference that's going to be but that is where we're at Oh, and then, so, okay, so the attack delay reduction for merge has been increased. So now they're pushing you more to merge these towers as opposed to keep them separate. So the merge increase, so the delay reduction for merge increase went from 0 0.3105 to 0 0.3439. So it's milliseconds, but, you know, it works. It's, it's a third of a second, actually. It's quite a bit of damage. And then on to the Velociraptor. The Velociraptor attack delay has been increased also to a second, so from 0 0.9 to a second. And the merge decrease... So the, the amount of uh, attack speed it gains from Emerge has also been increased, if you will. So it'll attack faster now at zero, from at same thing, 0 0.3105 all the way to 0 0.3439. So merging them is now more valuable, basically is what they're trying to say. And then finally onto the Gigantosaurus, which is going to require four of these idiots. 
Oh, so the Gigantosaurus is no longer affected by line of sight. So anything, any obstacles in the way, it doesn't care. It's big boy. And that's literally what they wrote. It's a tall boy. So <laughs> that's going to be good. And the Gigantosaurus cooldown has been reduced from 35 seconds to 25 seconds. So they're actually putting in a lot of effort to maybe make this a little bit more viable. But hey, that's a good thing. Plus, I just realized, I think you can merge more now. I think it goes up to six. That's that's pretty interesting. Honestly, the, this guy did need a rework, so we're good. Now, on to the bottom path. So, the first changes happen to the Horned Owl. So, the 2002 up path. The Owl's Pierce has been reduced because it was so powerful before. They've gone from eight to six Pierce. Why would they do that? I don't know. Please don't ask me. But the amount of Pierce it gains from Merge has increased from eight to 12. So, it was originally eight per Merge, and now it's gone to 12. Okay, so they're pushing you to Merge. And then on to the Condor, so the giant Condor. At max beast power can now attack ungrabbable Moabs. Okay, so DDT and bads. That's good. Now the Condor penalty, oh shoot. The Moab Pierce penalty has been increased from 9 to 14. And the BFB Pierce penalty has been increased from 29 to 44. Ah, this idiot. Okay, and then the whatever this guy is called. The pierce has been reduced from 200 to 150, so it is actually more useless now. And the max bonus pierce from the merge increase has gone up from 250 to 300. So if you merge them, which I'm assuming you can do now, it's doing more pierce. And then the, the base damage has been reduced from 20 down to 10. However, the max bonus damage has been doubled. It went from 40 when you combine 4 into 80, so that's good. And the mo bonus Moab damage has been reduced from 110 to 80. So they actually really hurt this guy. Why? I don't know. I think Ninja Kui is just mad at him and they want him out of the game. That's my theory. And now we get to start talking about our beautiful heroes. So this is going to be a long one, guys. Starting with the ever so loved Gwendolyn. The level 3 Cocktail Fire ability Pierce has been reduced from 40 down to 30. The level 7 Cockatiel... Cockatiel... So the level 7 cocktail of fire ability pierce has been increased from 30 to 50. Okay, so it stays at 30 now instead of going to 40 and it goes up to 50 at level 7. So more of a late game play. The base attack burn damage has been reduced from 2 to 1 at level 6. So the burns aren't going to be that good early game, which is kind of what you need Gwendolyn for. So I don't know why they would do that. And then level 9 base attack burn damage has also been reduced from 4 to 2. So have. Not good. And then the level 10 plus base attack burn damage remains plus 1 per level. Okay. So what they're trying to do here is maybe switch Gwendolyn to a late game. She, she has late game potential, but not that much. Like why why would they doesn't matter ninja kiwi did and we will listen on to the beautiful striker jones so his level 7 ability now for 15 seconds all mortars will follow the touch cursor and have 30 percent improved accuracy so you can now control where the mortars go that's that's pretty interesting yep okay good and the cooldown has gone up to 30 seconds so that's fun at the end of the ability duration mortars snap back to their previous set location so for the duration of the ability so maybe here learn how to use the hotkey for the ability just so you don't waste time going down clicking and going back up a new target can be set on any mortar during this ability to break them out early okay interesting on to adora because we know you adora huh? no I'm kidding okay so adora's level 3 ability cooldown has been increased from 40 to 45 that's gonna hurt yeah so basically if you don't have monkey knowledge on don't use her and then the level 7 adora blood sacrifice cooldown has been increased from 10 seconds to 30 seconds that is stupid okay and then the adora level 11 attack cooldown delay has been increased from 0 0.8 to 0 0.85 so they're making her a lot weaker i'm not sure why they would do that and then adora level 17 so as if anyone gets there right Attack cooldown delay has been increased from 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 seconds, so they're actually making her weaker as well in the long run. And then finally, her level 20, Blood Sacrifice, value required per 101% multiplier no longer increased. Okay, so apparently there's something about the value of the sacrifice has now gone from 50 to 100, So, but they're calling it a 1% increase. I don't know what they're talking about, but doesn't matter, so that's not going to affect your gameplay whatsoever. Oh, beautiful! They have an upgrade for Geraldo, finally! The totems, where is it? The Paragon Power Totem. So now it will show you a count of how many there are. Oh my god, we needed that decades ago. And on that topic, beautiful segue into Paragon. So, and we're gonna make a video playing on this, but now when you place a Paragon, it'll give you the option to drop cash on that Paragon to actually have the ability to push it up the ranks. And it goes skills from $0 up to a max amount of cash that could be spent on the max contribution and also displays a combined cost of this plus the base upgrade cost. Okay. 
This contributes to the Paragon cash contributed abs okay, by Absorb Tower scaling fi value at 5% reduced efficiency. Okay, so now that's going to be a part of the gameplay for sure where you add cash to a Paragon. And then they also increased for every Paragon. Um, for every 20 degrees, the damage has increased from 20% all the way up to 25%. So that's good. Now on the Dart Monkey Paragon, the price has been reduced from 325k to 150k. Now don't forget, this is because they're now pushing for you to pay when you upgrade the Paragon. The Dart Monkey Paragon damage has also been reduced from 20 down to 15. And the Dart Monkey bo Paragon bonus ceramic damage has been increased. So they're actually really pushing the Dart Monkey Paragon here. They've increased it from 30 to 75 but they did decrease the attack so they did increase the attack cooldown delay from 0.35 to 0.4 not really gonna affect your gameplay as much but that's kind of good to see now moving on to the boomerang paragon our little friend right here so the boomerang paragon's range has been increased from seven decreased sorry from 75 to 60 so quite the aggressive drop i'm not sure why but you know again ninja kiwi doesn't really matter what we say the Bo Boomerang Paragon main attack boss boss damage multiplier has been reduced from 60 to 50. Okay, so they're making this guy quite a bit weaker. They've also, the Boomerang Paragon's press attacks, final explosion boss bonus reduced. What the f- Okay, so they reduced the boss damage that it does from 5,000 to 4,000. They've also reduced its price from 350k down to 275. By the way, at these prices, these do start becoming more viable. So that's, that's going to be an interesting thing to look at. And then for the Boomerang Paragon's press attack delay is what they're calling it. Cooldown delay, sorry, has been increased from 2.5 to 3 seconds. Sorry, to 2.5 to 3. And the Boomerang Paragon's orbital attack bonus boss damage has been reduced from 160 to 150. And then the final thing about this guy is the Boomerang Paragon orbit attack radius reduced from 60 to 50. So now the radius around the Boomerang Monkey is actually going to be smaller. Well, the bear Paragon at least. And then on to our favorite Paragon, well, at least my favorite, the Buccaneer. This guy's just an absolute legend. So the Paragon turret's attack cooldown delay has been increased. So, okay, that's not good, but it's been it's been increased from 0 0.2145 to 0 0.25. So not that big of an increase, but it is still a weakening of it. The Buccaneer Paragon plane's main attack cooldown delay has been increased from 0 0.15 to 0 0.18. The Buccaneer Paragon plane's radial attack cooldown delay has been increased from 1.5 to 1.8. So they've they've made the Buccaneer a lot small. Well, it, it makes sense because the Buccaneer was just dominating everything in the And then on to the Monkey Ace Paragon. So the carpet bomb ability cooldown has been increased from 40 seconds to 45. And other than that, there are no changes to it. And then on to one of the most un overrated Paragons in my personal opinion, the Wizard Monkey. So the Wizard Monkey Paragon, the small zombie sub projectile pierce increase has gone from 20 to, tw to 50. So they've actually made it quite a bit stronger the brain sorry the drain beam damage has been increased from 50 to 200 so they've forexed the damage on that one the arcane spike attack on the moab bonus targeting okay so they increased the damage it does to moabs as well from 200 to 250 for the arcane spike of course and again the arcane spike attack boss bonus damage has gone from 100 to 150 so it's now more viable for bosses which i think is kind of the play here they're, they're going for paragons are now a boss challenge thing and then the Metamorphosis Flamethrower Attack Pierce has been increased from 30 to 100. They really took the feedback on this idiot. And then finally, the Flamethrower Attack Bonus has been increased from 500 to 1000. Okay, good, because we really needed that. This guy was lacking so hard. No changes on the Ninja Monkey Paragon or the Engineer Monkey Paragon. However, they do mention a few things coming forward. So there is a new tower that's going to be coming up called the Spirit Walker. They've moved it to upgrade 40, so it is going to come in with a Monkey Sub Paragon. So that's going to be interesting. Um, there is the Monkey Sub paragon of course i mentioned and then finally there is going to be a new boss challenge ui so not sure what they mean by that but that kind of covers everything this has been a solid hour holy shit okay so <laughs> at least of recording but yeah so that's a lot of information there packed into a upgrade 39 i hope you enjoyed it if you did press that like button subscribe if you're not already subscribed and yeah it's, it's looking good it's looking good i'm more interested now to see what the upgrade 40 is gonna look like but that's all for now have a good one guys bye now